Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. After smoking jazz, a synthetic drug sold legally at gas stations, 19-year-old Logan Kushner was found unconscious in a creek. His death is a wake-up call to law enforcement officers who thought they were gaining ground in the synthetic drug war. Not only will it save lives, it is going to create a, a predictability in law enforcement's ability to do their job. After passing legislation last year to ban bath salts, which are PCP-like drugs, and a federal ban on chemicals used in synthetic marijuana products, lawmakers thought they had the problem under control. But drug manufacturers wasted no time slightly altering the chemicals in their products and now they're back on the shelves in gas stations and tobacco shops. Products like Jazz and Barely Legal are being marketed as herbal incense. Their labels read, not for human consumption. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi says they won't be legal for long. We're working with law enforcement to do everything we can to ban all these compounds that create these synthetic drugs that are killing our young people. General Bondi's pill mill czar Dave Ehrenberg admits it's hard to stay ahead of the manufacturers. We're not allowed just to say all of it is illegal because it'd be unconstitutional. Uh, so we have to do what we're allowed to do under the Constitution. And uh, it is a priority of the Attorney General uh, to make these drugs illegal. The Attorney General's office is working with lawmakers on legislation to outlaw the current wave of new synthetic drugs this legislative session. In Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray reporting.